Hello everybody, welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. Ten minutes at a time. Alright everybody, we are ready to uh, see if this turbine hooked up right. Put your little flashlight in there so you can see. See where I got everything. There's my ACU, my uh, solenoids, and my fuel pump all right there on that little board. Then I got my UAT over here. That's an air trap. For you guys that don't know, that stays full completely time and that feeds the engine. And uh, so that way, even when you roll inverted and stuff, you don't get no air in your fuel line. One little air, air bubble. Boom, that turbine will die. Okay, I had a lot of questions about what radio I used. This is a uh, JR12X. Okay, it's a 12 channel. And uh, the receiver is a 1222. The, that's the power safe version. There's two versions of that. One of them's got the regular switch and one of them's got the two power cords. There's no switch in line with them. You just plug the batteries in direct and it has to fail on switch. You can beat that switch with a hammer and uh, it, it'll fail on. As a matter of fact, you need the switch to turn it off. If you unplug it, the receiver stays on. And uh, we got we got the best of everything in this Thunder Chief. We didn't skip nowhere. It's got the best of everything. There ain't one cheap servo in here. Uh, not one cheap extension cord. Not nothing. It's all top of the line stuff. Okay, now ready to plug in my battery. Uh, I got a one, two, three battery that one of our fans, old John, donated for this. But I, I got a ECU. I need to send to JetCat before it'll work before I can use it because the volts ain't set right in that ECU. So I have to send it in, which means I got to use a regular turbine battery, just a lithium. Okay. Radio's on. I still got a lot of mixing to do and stuff like that. We'll go over that and I'll show you how I do all that. I haven't, all I did was mix the two servos on the, I didn't use my programming mix. I used a dual servo mix that that 12 channel has. Makes it really easy. Okay. Power up. Now we have no propane hooked up to it. Uh, no fuel, the system's dry, there is no chance this will start. Okay, now here's my lights, and here's all you do to start it. You go, your trim, that's your shutoff. When you do that, the engine dies. Put the trim up all the way. See, we're in start mode now. Uh-oh, hear that? Solenoid, bam. Ooh, I just love it when the plane comes together. It should be starting right now. All right. Okay, let's disconnect these batteries. We got to check one more thing. That turbine's ready to run. And it's coming to life. Okay, let's check one more thing. Let's check the fuel system. Now this can right here, let's go over this can a minute. This is a Jersey Modeler can. Okay, my buddy from Jersey Modeler donated that to me a long time ago. This is a nice setup, man. Uh, fill, drain, you charge the battery right there, flip the switch. Uh, it's a nice setup. But, uh, 
Custom made for B1 Bob. <laughs> well, my buddy said that to me. He watches the videos. Now, let's check this and make sure we ain't got no leaks anywhere. I'm going to find the plug for that line. Okay, guys, look for stuff running out. Two reasons. When it's full, it don't just spit fuel out everywhere and waste it on the ground. And for another reason, we go ahead and pump some fuel in that. That way, if there's uh, people waiting to take off, we can uh, just put this on our wing and we can sit there and idle and still take off with a full load of fuel. So far, so good. Tank's about half full. That's gonna hold a bunch of fuel, man. I bet that's more closer to a gallon and a half. What do you guys think? Them tanks are pretty good size. Oh, it's still dry inside. That's a good thing. Remember the F4? <laughs> Fuel leak. That did it when it was running too. It was one of these festos wasn't pushed in good enough is what it ended up being. So far so good. That first tank is up to there. want to see it go up into the second tank and make sure we ain't got no leaks and I uh, got everything plumbed right sometimes I get tired it's late at night I'm not immune to mistakes ooh back to the last minute well I suppose y'all have guessed what the next video is it's going to be Okay, first tank is almost full. Should be going to the second tank. No leaks. Everything's still dry inside. Slow when the plane comes together. It should be feeling fast because of that uh, big fuel line too. That fuel's moving. Okay, we're going into the second tank, no leaks.